Okay, camera rolling. Ooh. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's Mike here. And Ian here. Behind so, a very large parcel. Yes, now, this is box number one. Oh no. Of two. And it's very, very heavy. This is... Um, a happy mail parcel from Bet Jacob from Fredericksburg. Hi, Bet. Um, in the United States. So this is box number one. This arrived before we went away to the asylum uh, in Lincoln. <laughs> that sounds good, doesn't it? Um, the Steampunk Festival in in Lincoln. Um, we didn't open it, and then we received the second one from Bet. Eventually. Eventually, because there was a little issue with customs, which was nicely sorted well out. Well sorted, thank you, Bet. But we now have that one now, so this is going to be like a two-part video. We'll do box number one in one video and box number two in a second video. Um, we did have a quick sneak peek in, <laughs> um, but also Mum's had a look through, hasn't she? Yeah. While we are away at the asylum, she couldn't resist having a look inside the box, so she's had a quick look She's not stolen anything. Not that we know of. Not that we know of. <laughs> um, but we don't know what's in here, apart from kind of like one or two little bits and pieces that are on Shall top. Shall I move it off, slightly off camera? I was just going to say, so you can see that the box is Ooh. very large and very heavy, so to oh. get everything in shot, we're going to have to just move it. So okay. Packing materials first, let's just have a quick look. So. In the top of the box was this absolutely huge piece of white felt. This will be ideal for Max snowman, some snowman outfit for Christmas. Mm. So, mm. rather large piece of felt, which probably will come in useful for something else. Hello, Mr. Bentley. Do you want to have a sniff as well? <laughs> Mr. Bentley likes the felt. This is funny. Can't see him down there, can you? Bet you're hilarious. Just, why, what's it Had say? to find something to fill the box, Boys, you never have enough napkins. No. Just show the full packet. Look, look at this. There must be... Hello. Do you want to have a look as well? Do you want to have a look oh. too? Oh, there might be something in there for oh, you. There's, never there's know. all sorts of napkins there's in here. There's absolutely hundreds oh, of napkins Smells nice. Here. Something smells nice. It's some that haven't even been opened. Oh, they're pretty. I like those with the pot as well. Had to find something to fill the box. Oh, they're nice. Oh, look, sea ones in blue. Sea horses. Oh, lovely. So let's have a quick look. And so we've got. Oh, some tissue. Oh, yes. Ben is having a look again. Do you like the smell? Nice, don't they, Mr. Ben? Yeah, they smell lovely. No, you're not impressed, are you? So, look at that some one. beautiful floral napkins there. Flutterbys. You can never have too many flutterbys. And fishies. Fishies, fishies. And more. They're nice. Going on with the theme of the seaside and seashore. Lots of seashells. And some octopuses. She sells seashells. seashells on the seashore. Or something. So now look at those octopuses. Oh, sorry. Sorry. You no, know, there's, there's ones underneath. I sure does. No, what about that one underneath? Oh, they're nice. See, you're rubbish. I'm rubbish. 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 So we've got a floral one with some muzak. That's the sort of stuff they so play in lifts, in elevators, isn't it? Muzak. Crumbs. Look at this big pal. Black and white ones, mono ones. Yet. <laughs> <coughs> wow. Beautiful. Oh, there's a Christmas one under there. Should so a, ca a cafe, you a know. huge, huge stack of beautiful hydrangea ones with bumbly bees. <laughs> yes, wait. Puppies. Puppies. Christmas, Christmas tree kind of ones. Centre ones, I like those ones. There's some more fishy kind of ones, some more hydrangea ones. There's an actual mixture of all sorts of stuff in here. Floral ones. Some Parisian ones here. Don't ones with nice. gold. Good sparkle, good sparkle. Can I have enough sparkle? Crumbs. I could set up a napkin shop. Uh, I think you probably could, could actually. <laughs> Poppies. Fantastic. Tell you will like these. Lindy Lou. Yes, she likes the birds and bird cages, doesn't she? I may share some with Linda. May. If you're watching Linda, you may. May. So go Possibly. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> I know Linda's got 
thousands of napkins as well, but I'm sure you can never have too many. Oh, sorry, I didn't show you that one, did I? That one's got lots of writing on it. It says silence. I can't do silence. That's a Christmas one. I can't be silent at Christmas. Enjoy the sound. I'm not going to sing. No, no I've got I do like those little birdie ones, actually. The tap dance. With the, because uh, it's quieter. Yeah. I do like those birdie ones. They're, I think they're cocktail napkins back in the day. Yeah, I know Mum's going to want some of these. Parisienne. La Paris. Some, some multiple issues have before. Spotties. Yeah. They're all the puppy ones, etc. So let's go on an adventure. I like that one. That's cute. I like those with the shells on. Yeah, they are sweet, aren't they? They're lovely. That fact they've got coral on the other side. Coral on one side. <gasps> shells on the other. You're getting ahead of yourself. Behave. Sorry. Sorry about Okay, that. so. More slowly ones. Nice kind of abstract floral. Oh, there's still more there, look. Okay, so we've got, like the colour, kind of tealy turquoisey colours. It's more of those bike ones there, look. And a mixture, I think, of ones we've seen already. Cool. Oh, I don't know about that one, though. That one's the a paisley end. one. Very Moorish. Okay, so that is a huge... Biggest pile of napkins <sighs> I've ever seen. Uh, we're now on to my goal. Dilutions, paints and Tim Holtz sprays. This is amazing. What? Okay. What? So we've got some the Craftsmart little ink pads. They're nice. Mini inks. Acid free. Craftsmart. I don't know, I don't recognise that make. Irving, Texas. So what are these? Well, okay, I'm trying to sort them out into sets. We have Dilutions ink sprays and Tim Holtz. There's Tim's. That's Distress Tim's. Spray. These are all brand new. They are all brand new. What on earth? They're lovely, those. Distress stains. So the six bottles of Distress Stain. Very nice. But brand new. Yeah, I hope you've not been going out and buying these. I thought we should shop lifts. No, you know what I mean? Not buying them especially. Yes. Oh yeah, and that's a lot of dark, oh that's a nice colour. London blue. I don't have a lot of these. You do now. Funny because Diane's a friend of ours. Well, she, well, well, we know her. We know her. To talk to. To say hello. It's yes. ten. So ten colours of Dilution Zinc Spray. Six Distress Sprays, Antique Linen. Favourites there. Yep, vintage photo. Vintage Perfect. photo. Ideal for tea dyeing pages. Ooh. <laughs> and like I said, ten. Nine. Nine. <laughs> as long as it hasn't on the floor. No, no it's oh. all still sealed. Um, I'm hoping, Bet, that these are ones that you've purchased and never used. I'll just pick that one up, but because I'm hoping you've just not gone out and bought these things for us. If you have, thank you. And if you haven't, thank you. We have some, oh, copper paint. Perfect. That's handy. Artist's Loft copper paint. Matte medium, a big tube of. You like that, don't you? Yes, this is one of my favourite matte mediums, oh. the Dale Rowney. Love this, it's so difficult to get here in the UK. Ali's clear tacky glue, which is impossible to get in the UK. Yeah, I've not seen this. Eileen's clean tacky glue. Lake blue acrylic. Hey, boo -boo. Lake blue. So is that the colour actually in the tube? It's not a coloured tube, is it? No, I think that's the colour in the tube. That's a pretty colour. I like the blue. I like that blue. And to go with your Dilutions paint, <coughs> Dilutions sprays, there's some Dilutions paint. There's... Squeezed orange. Haven't got that one. And rouge. Postbox red. Postbox red. Squeezed orange. Squeezed orange and yeah, postbox red. Oh my lovely colours. Oh Look. my word. That. That's looking kind of orangey in this light. But it is red red. Postbox red. 
Um, post boxes in the UK tend to be this colour, as were old phone boxes, <sighs> public telephone boxes, which we don't tend to have very much No, we don't. Guess what I found? What? Distress inks and stains. More. More. Oxides, rather, sorry. I'm actually good. Um, so, we have Craft Smart little pads. Another set, another couple of sets of those. Yes. Lovely. Hampton Art Blues and. The bigger ones. So they're nice. Those colours are lovely. Yeah. Dye inks. Yes. It's a nice colour. So, a set of blues. Okay. Oh, sorry, I never showed you those other small ones, did I? So those more colours of the little minis from Craftsmart. And yeah, those are the four Hampton Out ones. We have some distress inks as well. We have Peacock Feathers. Lovely. Spice My Malady. My Malady. Faded Jeans. Dusty Concord. I don't know what a Dusty Concord is, do you? No, it's a bird, I think. Walnut Stain and Pick... pick I thought it said pickled raspberry. Picked raspberry. Picked raspberry. Um, Concord. No, it's Condor you're thinking of. Oh, I am, yeah. Concord's an aeroplane. So, distress inks. Again, these are all brand new. They've still got the wrappers on them. They've still got the cellophane wrapper on them. And we have, we have some oxides. Nice. We have Twisted Sitoff. Lovely. Cracked Pistachio. Lovely. Ah. Broken China. Lovely. Yeah, again, these have still got the wrappers on. And Wild Honey. <coughs> Excuse me. I was open, be careful. Yes. Untouched though. Might be open, but it's untouched. Okay, we have a mystery bag as well. Bear in mind everyone, this is box one. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just put those to one side. Um, I'm not sure. I don't know whether I've got any of these distress outside colours. I don't think I have. If but you have, of course, you can pass them on to Lindy Lou. No, she's got every one. Linda's got every one. Yes, she ordered them as soon as they were announced. I have a pink bag here. I don't know what's in it. Because she's like that, is Linda. You like that, aren't you, Linda? Mm. <laughs> Love you. Oh, Mike. So. Recollections key sets. Love these. Oh, this craft mat. They're gorgeous. We'll, we'll, we'll be fighting over these bets. Actually, there's enough for us not to fight. They're beautiful. Four packs of those. Beautiful. There's more in there. There's some, oh, ideal for Mike cosmetic sponges when he's putting the foundation on. Excellent stuff. I was actually getting towards the end of my cosmetic wedges. Cosmetic wedges. We'll show you the keys in a second. The cosmetic wedges, these are perfect for putting paint through stencils. And yes, I was getting to the end of mine. So they were on my shopping list, but not anymore. Right, keys, Craft Smart keys. They're lovely, those. Love those. Love those. They're all gorgeous. They yeah. are. You can never have too many keys. Hang on, somebody else have a look. Well, well, then, look come on, come on. You're having a look? He's off camera, but. He's off camera, but he's having. He's just giving it the, the um, seal of approval. The, 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 Fluff of approval, there you go. So that's those keys there. So yes, love those. Perfect for all kinds and manner of project. for they book rings? They are book rings, mate. One's just come off, I'll just put it back on. Book rings, very handy. Big book rings. These are quite, um, quite difficult to get hold of here. Decent book rings. Change your gender, Mr. Bentley. Yes. Smells nice. It does smell nice. Those book rings are great for creating your own journals with. Sounds metallic. Metallic. Oh, watch parts. Watch parts, always great. And fancy brads. <laughs> oh, those. Love the little watch face. Oh, fancy brad, you say? Yeah, look, there. Some fancy brads. Oh, no. oh. The nice, oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, like those. Yes. Sorry, what we're looking at then. Okay. I'm getting very excited at these fancy brads. Um, let me see if I can try and take one out. Now, Stampin' Up! used to do some um, like antique brads, which they don't do anymore. And they were perfect. I used some of my projects. Yeah, Whoops. they were perfect for adding on the spines of books and things. Let me see if I can just hold that up to the camera. Look at that. 
Please focus, Mr. Camera. It's focused, I think. Beautiful. I'm, I'm hoping the camera's focused because I'm sat quite a way away. But they're beautiful brads. Um, but they don't do them. Some people don't do them anymore, so they're very difficult to get hold of. So if if anybody knows of a source where I can buy like decorative brads like these, metal brads, oh, no napkins, like that. Please do let me know in the comments section below. Small napkins. We've already seen those. Um, okay. Um, and yeah. because desperate for them, absolutely desperate for them. So let's look at these watch parts. Watch parts are cool. Watch faces are always handy. Oh, it's a nice one. Look at that. That's pretty. I like the strap. Look. I like that one. Very anti anti Q. Anti Q. Yes. Yeah. So. Watch faces, little ladies watch. This is a great to add into um, the special assemblages. Yeah, and also for adding on those um, embellishments on your machines as yes. well. Yes, yes, little watch faces are. Cool. We like it though. We like it, like it, like it. We've got some sticky. We keep those separate though. Adhesive foam dots, these are very really smart. Oh, they look quite dimensional. I think that's the purpose of them. There you are. No, I mean quite deep. Yes. Hobby Lobby again, dimensionals. I was uh, not quite as deep as that. You can see on the side how deep they are. Yeah, the ones we get, you've got to get any real dimension, you need to stack Ooh. two or three together. Ooh, some nice bits in this blue bag there. Hello, Fluffy. Hi, Fluffy Dog. Okay, so you've got Crafters Precision Glue. You can never have too much glue. Add tech. I wonder if it's a spirit based glue. No, I'm not going to sniff it now. Not a good idea. It just gives all the wrong <laughs> message. It all the wrong message. Sorry, no, I am going to sniff it now. Sorry, I can't resist. You can't, it's all sealed. It was. Yep, spirit based. Excellent. Flying high, high, high. Some more cosmetics. No. 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 Some more cosmetic sponges. Fantastic, thank you very much. Some mini ink blending foams, which we Don't got. sniff glue. I've just done my public service announcement bit. Other brands are available. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, they're nice. Thanks, Beth. Now, apart from being, again, whenever these come in, they go straight out again, don't they? Yeah. In a, I use a lot of them never, well. Yeah, you can never have too many of these things. I think my beard needs a trim. It's a bit spiky. Digressing. I know. Ooh, natural fine sponges. Like those. I've never seen natural sponges before. Yeah, you can get, but usually they're the they oh, the big bathroom ones. Yeah, but these ones are. So do they grow? Yes, they're natural. Oh, they're clever. Yes. I'm a bit blonde sometimes. Nature. Nature's wonderful anyway. Nature. Nature. It's marvellous. Okay, so. Some more sticky dots. They're sticky. great for stenciling. Sticky dots and sticky squares. Oh, fantastic. Again, they're quite. Oh, there's two sheets in each. Miss Sparkling You're wrapped so well, Bet, with this bits of ribbon. Oh, it's sweet. I think Bet sent us a pad of um, craft card from She did. From Sparkling Co. Which I've girl. still got upstairs. Artist Loft, the little watercolours. Oh, they're nice. It's a nice little travel set, isn't it? Journal insert sheets. I'm still looking at the paints. Oh, sorry. Let me just see if I can... Some nice colours in there. Bentley, I opened the door a minute ago and you didn't want to go out. <laughs> Why do you want to go out now? Because he can. Because he can. I'm just trying to move the... There's a beautiful kind of like peacocky greeny blue in there. Can you mm, see it? There. Yeah. yeah. That one. It's his favourite colour. It is. It's my favourite colour. Dilutions, insert shapes. Ooh. Ooh, broad. Oh, I think they're for the... Um, They're is cool. it for the small journal? I don't know. But or is it for the flip journal? It doesn't actually give you a size on them, but it didn't say which one it is. Uh, Just journal it. Well, it's nice. I don't suppose it matters. No, it doesn't. Without reading the blurb on the back of the packet. You could use it as inclusions. Well, you could do. You could Flaps stick them in. Things. And, sorry. Flaps and things. Don't be rude. Don't be rude. There we are. Nice covers. Ooh. Just let the dog Very out. Good no, let the dog out. We like grey grunge board. Again, oh, God, fantastic covers for journals. Team those up with, sorry, let me just show you, 
So this is for the the, the cinch, which is the, the binding machine, isn't it? Yes. I'm not clever. It just says on the back there. Oh, I thought you were. Um, so, but I don't think these have got holes punched in them already. No, but we not. do have we a have binding a... machine in the garage. We do at the moment. <laughs> Welcome back. Have you just not... <sighs> what? I've just seen the fabric. I know. Um, <clears throat> so yes, so these are for journal covers. Absolutely brilliant. Love them, love them, love them. So we've got a set of um, 6x6 and a set of 8x8, eight eight, which is going to be perfect because I'm coming towards the end of my 8x8 eight eight journal. Okay, a little piece of material. Doesn't matter. Sunflowers. Yes. Love sunflowers. Ooh. Actually, I could probably turn that into a rag tie to wear with my steampunk costume. Oh, I think you could. Very, very easily. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Some scratch made, I'll get spells in my hand. Oh, yeah. Smart. Okay, we've got some more bits from Sparkle and Co. Mini envelopes and cards. Sparkle and Co. Are they 3x3s? Uh, yes. Nice. Lovely. Little 3x3s. Three inches. These are nice. Not twinches, but three, three inches. inches. Cute little three by three inch cards. I may actually use those for my September. <laughs> Don't do it. Man. I know. It's just running around out there like a mad thing. Um, my September thank you cards. I may oh, utilise yeah. those because so I haven't done any yet. Lovely chipboard tags. Ooh, they're nice. Nice size. Recollections. Craft it. Chipboard. Very nice those. Like those. I'm about to steal one of those. Me likey. Again, ideal for with the book ring. You could make that into a tap journal. Yeah. The nice size. I could actually use one of those for as a template to create more like those. So that's some lovely things. Is there a bottom to this? Uh, feel like in a minute a there is. Yeah. It. Again, some scallop tags. Useful coming up to Christmas. Coordinations, colour core card stock core tags. A nice kind of cartouche shape. I don't know if you can see that properly. There we go, that's probably better. These are gorgeous. Some more tags oh, there. Oh, we've got some little. What size are they? The tag tags. Oh, yep. Yeah. Tag shapes, great for adding in the set inclusions and, and bits and pieces into journals or little toppers for cards and some little um, bunting banner chipboards. Bunting for banner. Mayor Road. We've got, cool we've little got things some more there. little die cuts in there and it's a smash book with our little cards in it. <laughs> From Tuesday morning. Yeah. Like it. Like that. So this is ideal for little journaling squares. That kind of thing. The lovely those. Yeah. Cute. Cute for quick and easy um, art journal paper. A total blast from the past. Love it. Some more chipboard shapes there. Cool. Some squaresies. Again, probably 3 by 3 And some more of those scallop tags. This box is like the TARDIS. Could do some really nice little Christmas. I wonder if they're like two and a half inch. If you move the other side, it'll tell you. Brain working three, over time. Three, three inch. But that's okay. There's only three to three cards. No, I was thinking of doing Work. some. I know, dangerous for me. Um, for the ATCs, the uh, uh, artist trading coins. Yes. That normally people seem to be doing the two and a half inch ones. Yeah. But um, looking back at um, Joanna's first video oh yes that's the lady that came up with the concept of the artist trading coin in her video she actually does specify and does state they can be any size maybe it's just everybody's jumped on the two and a half but so three some threes still class pets ideal for the craft room fantastic ideal for picking up stains doing splodges or for picking up um liquid 
and doing dribbles and that kind of stuff. Love those. There's a psh, 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 and a spritzy bottle. Spritzy bottle and some pip rubber pipettes. You know the pipettes. Oh wow! Want that screw into bottles? Yes. Oh, they're cool. I wonder if they fit that as well. So spritz bottle. Sorry, I didn't show you the pipettes, did I? There you go. Very long pipettes for picking things up or picking liquids up, and some eyedropper pipette lids with the rubber ends on them. Pressure sensitive transfers, I adore these. Yeah. Two different sets. Uh, don't get these in the UK. No, I I've don't. never seen them over here. They're absolutely amazing. If you look at the designs on, on that one. Oh, so it's crammed. The, the big as well. Yeah, it's, it's all folded up. It, it says like... pressure sensitive. Use a lolly stick. So rub on. Yeah, rub on. Yeah, yeah. So then we've got vintage ladies. And then we've got dress forms and that kind of thing. Sewing, haberdashery kind of thing. Like those. I love those. You know, we were talking the other week about um, when you do plastering, you get that self adhesive plaster. The, the joint tape? Yeah. Self adhesive joint tape. As Beck got this house booked. <laughs> that Bastin Martin hasn't arrived anyway. <laughs> That's, that's handy, is that? And it, it, is self, it is tacky on the back so you can put it straight down and use it as a... Um, well, use it as texture on your project or actually use it as a mask to create a, a yeah. great effect. Nice. You know, we always say we like ledger paper and papers and that kind of thing and maps. Yes, dear. Have a look through that. Maps, text and ledgers. Um, what's this from? My, oh, oh, DCWV. Die cuts with a view. Die cut. Well done, you. Done my homework. Wow. 8x8 paper pad. These are nice. Hundreds nice. of them. Look at just looky, looky, looky. Ah, now then, I think um, we've had papers from this set before. But odd sheets. But odd sheets, not a full set before. That's amazing. They're so good. You can't have enough maps. There's even stamps in there as well, look. What well, I in stamp dictionary, in. music papers, adverts. That's how I do that, that ephemera journal you're doing. Isn't it? Yeah, the, the, Try an ephemera journal. Yeah, there's just I love that colour one. The one with the green and the red in. I mean the maps just brilliant. You can't you just can't have enough maps. And a paper stack of textures, but nice vintage textures papers there. Oh, I like those. They're nice. Again, so I wonder if you can um, emboss those and sand over the top. I wonder if it's colour code. Don't know, but I just found some stuff I'm going to Okay. <laughs> Again, some DCW cardstock, textured cardstock. I'll just quickly put the array of kind of muted vintage colours in there. Beautiful stuff. Again, ideal for, um, for matting, layering on cards, on for doing clusters, for just teaming up loads and loads of stuff. And there's a load of paper. Oh, oh wow. Handy. That's a, that's a, that's a, is that a paper or is it, is it a peeler? There's two. There's two lights, yeah, two sheets. Anyway, so. So 12 twelve by twelve. Yeah, lovely papers in there. My likes are front of the graphic 45 papers, now use the backs. <laughs> we can't split them, so it's one or the no. other. But so, they're ideal for my machines. Yeah, Ian uses some of the backs for... Backs of clocks and things. Oh, these are lovely. They are beautiful, aren't they? I like that one. That's a grungy one. That's not, a grungy That's one. Kaisercraft. Kaisercraft. Yeah. There's a mixture of different um, manufacturers. I'm hoping you can... Oh, well, I like that one Ooh. with a balloon on. Oh, that's an envelope. Is it? Oh, yeah. I'm hoping you can see these. I don't know if she's got everything in this box. And all those napkins. Just probably stamp down on it. Like a suitcase when you're coming home from holiday, you've got to sit on it to, to get it closed. Look at that one. Beautiful colour. It's not like Newt suitcase off... Um, Newt Scamander. Scamander. No. Yes, yeah, the thing, what's he called? The Niffler. The Niffler. I think Sam made a Niffler. She did. Beautiful. Yes. Um, what was I going to say? Yes, Newt Scamander suitcase. Yes. It's like Mary Poppins bag. carpet bag. And I think, and there is this theory going round, that Mary Poppins 
went to Hogwarts. Oh, I read that somewhere. Mm. There's one last parcel here. The box is then empty. I'm just trying to find a way into this what, parcel. Was, it, was this in the bag? Yes, in the bottom. This is probably full of used, used twenty pound notes. You wish. There. Uh, you're gonna love this. What's your favourite? It's either old book texts or music papers. It's a combination of. Love my neck, Pat. Oh, oh, just one that just jumps straight out at me. Oh. But look at that! It's absolutely brilliant. Full. Oh, oh, the nursery rhymes. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe. She had so many children, she didn't know what to do. So she sold them into slavery. No, she didn't. Oh, look, perfect one for you. What? Simple Simon. That's me. I don't care. Yeah, man, cool. So there's a, a whole plethora of old vintage. I'm going to have to go through that. I can't show every page of these. There's music sheets, there's magazine, there's as you can see, bird plates, illustrative plates. Is that a catalogue? Yeah. What, what's the catalogue of? Look at those. It's furniture. All different furniture is oh, what they wow. were. I think Bet sent us one before and it had all kind of bathroom stuff in it, didn't it? Look at that. Oh. That's the most amazing book here. I need to do my missing inspiration for September yet. That bird would be perfect. I like him, I like him a lot. I need to go through this page by page. I can't, I'm not gonna show you everything that she sent because there's just too much in here to go through in, in one video. I could do an entire video just on this one pile. Um, but there's just some book covers and all sorts in there. Music papers and like I said, those bird plates in there as well. He's breathing. He's breathing heavy. Me? He's, yes. I found the most amazing book in the bottom. The Police Gazette? It's called the Police Gazette. But it's a facsimile of all old, of an old, old police stories. Look at and, those illustrations. And adverts. <gasps> have a fix around, can we? Police Gazette. That's brilliant. Simon, Simon Schuster. Schuster. So let me just go to the pink pages. <laughs> Wait, oops. Oh, look at those. I'm hoping you can see that it's um, that it's focused. Some of these illustrations, it looks like um, well, obviously they're taken from the National Police Gazette, New York. That That's book is amazing. It's got story, short stories in it as well. Has it really? About crimes. And let me just see if I can just open it at... Your dad would love this. Some of these illustrators I think I've seen before. That is a... Like a group of blokes fighting. What's, what's, what's one of the stories? Making the autopsies, it says. Nice. But there's all kinds of... What's that? The lady what? The young lady baseballists. <laughs> oh, they're superb. Look at those illustrations. I'd have to have a look to see what the date was. I know they're from. No, but they're nice to look 1888, at. 1888. Um, but the actual publication date of this compilation. That doesn't make any difference from source material. Well, it doesn't. It says 1972. But from source material, you're clear. There's yeah. No copyright. Because the original. Um, has gone. Yeah. Forward by Tom Wolf. That is brilliant. I might read that later. I think this is going to be something we can... Look at that. The baby elephant in a bed. We have to show them that one. It's cute. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping the light's okay. We're, we're actually in focus. But yeah. Wow. So, what can you say? Are you, going to, um, are you going to give a shot of it all on the table before you finish? Yeah, I think I'm going to have to try and... stills in. I'll have to try and take a photograph of everything that's here. Um, and I'm just kind of... Wow. Overwhelmed. 
Thank you so much. I, I'm kind of... <laughs> don't know what to say. Um, but, but thank you. This is, this is so generous. and I, I just... Words fail me, and that doesn't Does happen. Does often. I'm looking forward to box two. This was amazing. <laughs> it's like Christmas. Yeah, absolutely. Hello, maybe, Hello puppy maybe. dog. Um, yeah, I, I just don't know what to say about it. I honestly do not know what to say, apart from... Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you so, so much. much. Right, let's get this so we can try and get some photos taken. Yeah, and we'll see you again real soon. That's what you say, isn't it? It's what I do say. That's what I just say.